Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Lost Odyssey walkthrough. Alright, so we are up in the inner sea. I could not figure out why I couldn't get to the optional dungeon, and it was because uh, while I had purchased it um, from the whatever, Xbox, Microsoft store, <clears throat> I never actually installed it, so <laughs> um, I finally I finally did that, and uh and there it is, right there. So, that's kind of funny. Alright, so let's just go ahead and enter that. Um, I don't think I've ever been in here. Uh, when I owned the, or when I had the game initially, I don't think I, I had this DLC. Uh, so here's Cartographer Mardol. You came to see this place as well? Thought I was the only one crazy enough to come all the way here. My living from making maps, you know. When I heard of an underground research lab hidden around here, I figured it was my duty to come here as soon as I could. I tried going down there earlier, but man, you wouldn't believe all the ferocious looking monsters and weird machines they have down there. I finally managed to find a lift back up after a while, and that's how I'm standing here now. I'd have gone, I'd have been a goner otherwise. Hmm, you guys look like you can take care of yourselves better than I can. How about it? You interested in lending me a bit of help? I won't expect it to be done for free, mind you. Just tell me about what you see in your explorations, and in exchange, I'll give you some of my treasure. I'll be hanging around here for a while, so please check it out for me down there. I'm depending on you. You, sir, have t I mean... The moment I heard treasure, I was like, <laughs> "Sign me up! Let's let's do that." Oh my! All right, all right. Let's head on in here. So yeah, I have no idea what to expect from this dungeon. I do see a treasure chest back here, though. Five healing tanks. Well, that is a decent enough start. Let me just see here. Do, 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 do. Ah, okay. Huh. Let's see. Looks like there are... What is going on here? Okay. What's this? Security guard log. I was wondering why they were bringing all this heavy equipment in, but it turns out they've built a research lab underground. A bunch of technicians were transferred down there earlier, working right near all kinds of crazy monsters. That's one heck of a dem demotion. Oops, I probably shouldn't be writing this kind of thing into the security lab. Most folks aren't allowed underground. It's too dangerous, they say. I asked why there aren't any security measures taken, but they said it's too dangerous even for us security guards. What the heck are they doing down there? I went down there today after being asked to help with the research. What transpired was simply horrible. That's the last time I believe anything those technicians say. I just hope they don't ask for me again. I hate being a security grunt sometimes. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> Oh, I see a, another thing across the room. Right, was it over here? Yes, indeed. Development Chief Log 1. Project Terminus has been given the green light. Our glorious plan has finally been recognized. Spirits are at an all-time high, but we have a long road ahead. Our first step shall be the creation of a simple prototype. This will become the foundation of the control system. A certain Professor K will be leading the project, starting with the underground expansion of the facility. I haven't met him personally, but he's said to be extremely talented. 
Apparently this construction will allow us to take better advantage of the magic energy flowing into the area. In addition, the elevators and floor gates have been rearranged as a measure to secure our intellectual assets. You can only move up from certain floors now, which is a tad annoying, but I suppose there's no way around it. Um, I think that's a bit of a hint as far as, um, yeah, like how you get around here. Which um, I assume is going to be annoying. Oh, look at that. Looks like there's no way back up once you've... Uh, once you've uh, changed floors, I guess. And here we have our first battle. Alright, Dark Mutation. These guys have some brass keys. I don't know if that's... Yeah, I don't know. Nothing, nothing seems particularly interesting about these guys. Oops. Probably don't want my casters just attacking. Alright. Alright. Oh, that's right. That's because I uh, reloaded my game. So all my commit... Oh. Interesting. Okay. Immune to... St uh, immune to physical damage. Somehow I'm still absorbing a ton though, that's weird. So oh, ow. Okay, so we need to equip the, um, the ability that makes it so that enemies can't absorb health from us, I suppose. gonna keep doing this. I don't know if uh, I don't know if these guys in the back are immune to physicals. Nope, they're not. Mana Prime. Not even near my Ming Learn Defense Boost too. Well, all right. So let's get that. Uh, Still got some empty slots here. Very cool. Very cool and good. Um, absorb guard. Yeah, there we go. All right. Absorb guard. Hmm. HP recovery, mental stability, absorb all elements, absorb magic, <laughs> absorb attack, reduce casting time, defense boost one. Well, it simply has to go. Um, <clears throat> let's see here, defense boost two. Skills. Skills are just a mess. Uh, Alright. Yeah, um, honestly, what I could probably do here is equip 
equip some of these items that would actually free up some slot uh, or some slots but I don't know let's do like crisis defense uh, white charm auto HP recovery level 8 spirit magic ailment resistance well I think said is just gonna have to deal with potentially being absorbed upon <laughs> um, where are we at here underground research division 1b what's going on back here that looks a little that looks a little unsafe all right so we've got a chest here. with a slot seed. Okay. Let me just see here. Two slot seeds. Okay. Eventually here we might get enough slot seeds where I can swap out a slot plus five uh, for it just a different ability. Alright, hang on a sec here. Slot seed. Um, no, we want to go how did I miss the uh, the spheres over here? Apparently they're just evading my gaze. Looks like we have to fight. At some point here, I may decide to. decide to skip uh, some of the battles but we'll see uh, poor little feller couldn't absorb any health how disappointing Yeah, I'm definitely going to start running from bats already. I just uh, I want to get rolling through this place. I'm not that worried. Like, I guess I've got, like, what, one ability still to learn on Ming, and that's, I mean, kind of about it. So the SP is not, you know, that important. Chop. Development Chief Log 2. Professor K conducted a test of the proto prototype's interceptor skills inside the facility. A random security guard was ordered to try infiltrating its zone of activity. The experiment fulfilled our expectations completely. The paramedics took the guard back up to the surface, and after that, we all toasted to our success. Okay. So these guys are like freaks. Like mad scientists type of deal. Alright, um... So this is where I came in. Where is this other sphere thing at? Because there's two on this one, so we're looking for a research log. Ugh. Yep, gonna have to start running, boys. And girls. And gals. It's this guy. This guy looks cool. Headless Woodsman. Well, let's let's take him on. We'll just see how much he does, or how much, or how easy it is to take him down. Pow. Come on, Kai. Get him! Yeah. Oh, dang it! I was hoping that was gonna that was gonna do it, but no dice. I may have to switch to gambles too to speed this up. I don't know. Uh, 
I don't know. We'll see. Or just run. <laughs> Go back to the original plan of running. Okay. Ah, that's what I missed. There's an entrance over here. Researcher log. Due to new confidentiality rules, from now on, researchers have to go to the surface using the lifts on every fifth floor. It's all good for security, I suppose. I hardly have the time to go up anyway with all the work on my plate, so it's not something that I'm concerned about. Um, okay. Well, we'll just have to see about that. Alright, so that's the second floor. Not too bad. All right, research division 2B. So we've got one chest and two more logs. I see the chest already. All right, we've got one log here. Development chief log three, along with the prototype, we've been conducting research on an autonomous guard bot device. We've already got a test model roaming the floor, collecting data. I have a feeling this will be as monumental a breakthrough as the prototype project once it's complete. Okay. Seven forty, pretty weak. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so that's Oh, good lord. Junior Research Log 1. The underground expansion effort is pretty immense, it seems. I hear they just keep adding floor after floor downwards. I can't, couldn't even guess how deep it'll go in the end. It just goes to show the enormous scope of this project. Okay. Five magic staff fragment. Looks like there's gonna be two chests in here. There's one of them. Ruins life? Is that what that was? Wind hardened HEC Kelkin. Meh. Magic Observer Log 1. There is an abundance of magic energy in the area. It makes complete sense given how this experimental staff was designed to amplify the natural source of magic energy. It's built around. I can't help but wonder, though, where all this energy is coming from. That is a good question. Where is all of this magic energy coming from? see why this is DLC. This is uh, pretty basic stuff here. <laughs> uh, 
three magic storing stone. All right, so that's both of the treasures for this floor. Now we just need to grab the last log, which I'll just assume is, what do you know, right in here. Researcher log. What is this research? Yeah, researcher log. Oh, just researcher log. Okay. Funneled a massive amount of resources into this prototype, but Professor K is asking for more in order to beef up our security. I'm amazed how he's able to extract money from those tight wads in the boardroom. K is a talented one, no doubt about that. Okay. Alrighty, that was it for this one. All right, so there are no treasures in this one, but two logs. So let's head on in. Oh, look at there. Two logs back to back. Development sheet log four. We've received an order from Professor K. Prototype one's research phase is near completion. It still doesn't have all its required functionality, but its dormant potential is unimaginable. We've got a bright future ahead of us. Research log two. Everyone's buzzing away at their research. Professor K, the research group leader, always works in the lowermost facility. It's a little disappointed how we new enlistees will probably never get a chance to even see him. Hmm. Oh, well, that's sad. Very sorry to hear that. Let's just take a look over here. Yeah, look at that. The lights are not on. All right. Well, that floor was very easy. Reached conference area 5B. Well, yeah, it wasn't much of an accomplishment, honestly. It seemed pretty easy. Couple of... Alright, Professor K log 1. Uh, prototype research is proceeding smoothly. We've updated the basic skill set and independent behavioral ability of the prototype, calling the result Prototype 2. I have no doubt but the glorious future of this project. This is truly the model that will prove to be the world's greatest weapon. Uh, I like the sound of that. Oh, excuse me. All right, got a slot seed. Very cool. Oh, that's not the way across. Log over here. Professor K, log two. Our laboratory has been expanded underground. Working down below puts us closer to the source of magic energy, so I'll be sending my main research team there shortly. Okay. Now, um, I think I did see a path up here, yeah. So let's, let's operate this. We'll head back up. Hey, welcome back. Glad to see you're safe. So how was it? Tell me what you found down there. Wow, impressive work. So how was it? Lots of powerful monsters all over the place. Am I right? Yes. Based on what you've told me, I think I only made it down to the fifth floor. Thank you. This is great information. Time to work on that map. But before that, take this. It's your reward. Three Ambrosias. That's pretty not impressive, sir. Um, is there not a save point out here? Yeah, there does not look like there's a save point. That's really freaking lame. All right. Um, well, I'm not wild about this whole going back down and then, yeah, because now I'm not going to be able to. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this. Not digging this uh, this deal here. Yeah. Let's take it down. Well, I might just try to do this all in one go. It's probably a really bad freaking idea, but... Oh well. If I die, I die. How are we looking for time here? Yeah, we're already at 24 minutes, too. And we've only done, like, five floors. That's... That's concerning. I mean real talk uh, I think that this this like uh, one way up thing is a bit obnoxious these are like the um, 
Well, no. Uh, I was gonna say it's like a, it's like the deep dungeon, right? But uh, the deep dungeon is just one dungeon at a time. In Final Fantasy Tactics, that is. There are other, um, <clears throat> there are other games that have this kind of mechanic, though, right? Where <laughs> you kind of gotta just do the whole dungeon all in one go. To me, it just seems a little obnoxious. Whoops. I guess I'm glad that that succeeded because I accidentally ran instead of using said's skill. You know what? Um, oh, screw it. I was going to put Sed out in front so that he could have the first turn always, but I don't think it's a big deal. Can just keep keep doing it the way I've been doing it. I mean, at least these floors are really fast too. So, um, but uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to do five levels, go up to the top. Do five, well, fifteen levels, go up to the top, and keep doing that. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this all in one go. I think that'll be a lot better. So let's flee, flee. Look! <laughs> I don't know if that hurts you or not, but, um, probably not, right? Maybe. Probably just blocks you off. Alright, so there's the, there's the elevator. You goddamn elevator. Alright, so a new floor here. Um... You know, uh, I'm going to take a cut here because we're at 20, yeah, 27 minutes right now. Um, and we'll just try to, you know, do a bunch more levels in this next video. Should go a lot faster, I think, though, too. So, all right. Uh, as always, hope this guide was helpful and hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.